Hey, this is Margaret Lynch, author of Tapping Into Wealth and creator of the Tapping Into Wealth Coach Training Program with another tip for you to be a freaking awesome coach. Because why be a medium coach when you can be a freaking awesome coach? Okay, today's tip is a way to shift your vibe before working with a client because you know why? You need to. We got a lot going on in there and we're human and we have egos and we have all this stuff and we need a way, a process, a ritual to get ourselves out of the way so that you can truly be your best for your client. Now this is even more important when you have a client that let's just say isn't your favorite client or is a little more difficult to deal with, maybe they trigger you, maybe they remind you of somebody in your life that drives you crazy, whatever, but especially when working with a client that's difficult, you want to have a little process to get your vibe straight before the session. Okay, so here's what I like to do. I like to take a deep breath and I just like to tune in a little bit because sometimes I find myself rushing around right up to the last minute when I'm about to get on the phone with a client and I learned that that's not the best practice for me. I want to sit for a few minutes before that call and just sort of get my vibe straight, get my head straight, get clear. And so I take a breath, I sit there for a minute, and I allow myself to hear some of the thoughts going through my head. Some of them are about me, some are about the clients, and a lot of them are about my own worries and insecurities around, I hope they like what they do. I do, I hope I'm doing enough, am I giving enough, are they getting it, do they think it's valuable, and I so want them to do well, I so want to help them, I so want to make it happen for them. What if they don't do well? All of that is going around in my head. And that's not good for my client. That's my stuff. So <laughs> this is when I realize, thank God I take a minute to get my vibe straight. And so for me, I like to do a little affirmation where I just take a breath and I breathe and I acknowledge. Now, sometimes I use the tapping technique or emotional freedom technique. And sometimes I just say the affirmation. It sounds something like this. <sighs> Even though I am human and I have all these insecurities and I have all of these projections onto this client on what I want them to accomplish or my opinions of them or my judgments of them or all of the things I'm worried that they are judging about me. Maybe they think I'm not good enough. Maybe they don't have the value. Maybe they're not seeing the value of what I'm giving them. I'm just going to honor that because I am human and I do care and sometimes I'm a little insecure and I'm worried and I care so much. So I'm just going to honor that and set my intention right now to get out of the way and allow myself to be the clearest channel for the highest good of this client and for me for the highest good of whatever outcome is right and divine and perfect for this client at this time. And then I take a breath and I wonder, is that really gonna work? And then I jump into the session and man, does it work because I find myself so much more clear and centered and energized and ready to go, even if it's my fifth coaching client in a row. So that's my tip of the day for you to help you become a freaking awesome coach and keep pushing the limits of what you do with your clients. This is Margaret Lynch from margaretmlynch.com.